So what was your relationship with alcohol life? It was my best friend. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Um, it was, it was always, I have a great time with it. I have a lot of great memories with it. But there's a time in your life where you just need to grow up and, and start fulfilling the goals that I couldn't fulfill anymore because that would stop me from going. I have nothing against it. You know, people who drink, who, who could control it, I respect them more, but I couldn't. And I, I'm already uh, 44, I lost a relationship. You know, I wasn't doing well at work. I didn't get things I wanted because of that one fun thing I would do. So I had to grow up and figure out what I need to do. I already tried on my own. So I had to find something, and that's when I, I heard your video one day, and, and I kind of just, wow, this guy's just like me. And I gave you a call that one, I didn't even take, I finished the video, you still watching the video? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually still watching the video, you know? And it's kind of weird because on Facebook, every time you research stuff, that's what they post. I never researched drinking, partying, and that post just came out of nowhere. So that was just like, whoa, why is this video coming out on my time? If I'm not even, I don't even search drinking and stuff like that. So, yeah. So what's your relationship with that, like now? What's your life like now? My life is back like in high school before. I was very social. I would always say uh, hi to people, thank people, uh, got things done, get a whole group of things going on. I'm, I'm more with my family now. I do things with my sister I wouldn't have done before. I hang out with my family a lot more. I'm visiting all my friends that have stuck with me you know, through the way I was. I'm gonna go visit them. I'm always appreciating now the people who've been with me. I mean, it's great. My health, I've lost already 40 pounds. You know, I mean, direction is going right. I already put a, I already bought a lot from my house. So all these things that I've always wanted to do, I'm getting them done now. And, and people ask me, you're gonna go back into a relationship? Not right now, man. Right now I gotta fix me before anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's great without it. And, and before I told you before, oh, I just wanna control it. Man, you know, the only thing I have to control is the way I eat. You know, you know that's that's the that's the, that's the next level that I'm working on. is It's not the drinking more; it's already on the side. Now it's just health. You know, that's my main focus now, and continue and also spreading the word of I am comeback because that's the way I am. I'm always promoting. If I like something, I'm gonna back it up. So that's another thing I'm doing. I'm, I'm, people are asking me, "How do you do it? What are you doing?" I'm just like, just get it done. Do it. You know. So. What do you think the biggest gift the comeback has given you, but also you gave yourself from doing this program is? The biggest gift is that you're not alone. You know, like, like I told you before, I, I entered your program not knowing. I, I cannot give you a story of I was raised like this. I can't give you any story. I just, I just had no direction. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. So listening to your conversations, listening to everybody's conversations, situations, you, you feel like you're, you're, you're into a group, you know? So it also educates me. So guys come up to me now. It's like, hey, Lou, I'm in this situation. Just like the thing about the divorce, you know, writing the emails to your, to your loved one. But you know what? I took it to another level. I talked to the guys like, you know what? Emails are not good. You know what you need to do? You need to record that voice. You know, go to a studio, record your voice, record your voice and tell your kids that you can't see how you feel. Because you know, when you read stuff, you read text, you read it in a certain context, but when you hear the crackling of your dad's voice that, hey, you know, I can't see you. This is what's going on in my life. I think that kind of level now uh, I like, you know, the, the, the talking back, the, the hearing. I mean, if, if, if I had a kid and I... Communication. If I could hear them, if I could record my voice every day, and then when they get older, I can see them go here. I know you never met me, but here's all my thoughts. You know, my voice telling you. Because when you read something, it's one thing, but when you hear it, that's why I tell you, I love reading, but I love listening. I'm a real, I'm a, I'm a real vocal listener. So someone that's on the fence, you just bought, right? But think about someone out there making a decision that you made. They're on the fence. They don't know if you should click that ad, should they not click that ad? Give them some advice. Uh, would you recommend it? The thing is, it's, it's already being recommended. People are asking me, like I told you, I, I, I was coming to, to come to this program. I sat down next to a lady. Now, hey, how you doing, ma'am? How's it going? My name is Lou. Different. Oh, what are you doing? So we're just talking and talking. I brought up about the program. I found out she's a pastor of one of the greatest Christian churches we have in Laredo. And she's like, man, you know what? Uh, I need to know this information. I need to tell me. I go, here's my business card. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to connect it to Mark. And it's like, let go, but you know what? Nothing life is free. I mean, this guy put all his effort and stuff. I mean, it'll be awesome if it was free, but you know what? Everything costs money. Social media costs money. Pushing it costs money. Traveling costs money. I mean, nothing life is free. So if, if someone really wants to change, they're going to have to put their money down to get it done. Like going to the gym, you know, like why are they charge us? Like, well, you know what? You got you to, gotta, how is it? You, you got to pay to show that you are committed to something like that. So now this lady's interested in your program. And I told her, we talk. I mean, we talk serious. We don't, we don't butter anything. It's, 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 
Yes, we might use words that are very strong, but that's how the emotion is. That's how much we care. And that's, how, and that's the way I talk. And that's another reason I'm like, there's like, no, we just talk straight up. You know, once say how we talk in the group, and I think how we talk to our family, like you always say. So now that lady's interested. So I am recommending that people are asking me, and, and, and you're going to see a big difference in the year. People are going to be keep asking me, it's like, what are you doing? Like today, I'm going to put a big picture later on. Here's my sobriety, brothers. They're going to be like, oh, sh you've been traveling, Lou. I thought you've been partying. Yeah. So big difference.